Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Please welcome Mr. Scott. <laughs> I apologise for that appalling dad dancing, that's terrible. Mr. Gibson is actually wetting himself in the back. Now, <clears throat> okay. Guys, it's your last ever house comps. Oh. That makes me feel really sad because it's been amazing and it probably only feels like a few period sixes ago that you're watching it when you're in year seven. And it's gone so fast. Now the theme for this house comps is equality. And as we reflect on the world that we live in at the moment, there's a lot of intolerance, there's a lot of hatred. That's just the staff room. That's not even the rest of the world. But no, seriously, we have Brexit, we have Mr. T in the White House, I don't mean Mr. Tudor, Mr. Trump. And we really do need to take a moment to celebrate the fact that as human beings, regardless of our race, religion, creed, sexuality, we are all equal. And today you are gonna see a range of performances that are gonna blow you away and promote and celebrate that equality. Now, as hard a job as our performers have today, to wow with, your, with their amazingly practiced and rehearsed and choreographed pieces, people who've got a really difficult job as well are our judges. And we have three very esteemed and well-qualified judges to help us decide on the winning house, most likely Spartans. Tonight, today, we have one of our governors, Mrs. Hudson. We have our chair of governors, the most important governor, Mr. Hart, and we have our very own deputy head and English grammar hammer, Mrs. Tony Clay. Give him a big hand, guys. Now, as you know by now, this will consist of four rounds. I will get the scores for the art round shortly. We will then have a round of drama pieces celebrating equality. We will have the always amazing musicians performing and we will finish and bring the curtain down with the amazing dancers. Woo! So, without further ado, let me get the scores for the art round to kick everything off. Okay. <clears throat> With three points from a possible five, we have the Romans and the Spartans. In second place with four points, it's the Trojans. And with a very slender and likely to change hands several times, the lead at the moment, it is the Vikings. Now, without further ado, we will go straight to our drama round and kicking us off and celebrating the theme of equality, it is the Romans.
fantastic start there from the Romans, and also a little bit of free history revision thrown in, because that was Little Rock High School. Okay, that was brilliant. Second up.